even as Gordy Hogg prepares to go to Ottawa as South Surrey White Rock's new Liberal MP, he is warning his party against drawing assumptions from his milestone by-election win about its prospects of holding or bolstering its BC ranks in the next federal election in 2019. No doubt it's a positive statement, Mr. Hogg said of his win by about 1,600 votes over Conservative Carrie Lynn Findlay, a National Revenue Minister under former Prime Minister Stephen Harper. What that means in terms of the future? I don't know the answer to that. On Tuesday, Mr. Hogg was crediting his personal profile, campaign team, shifting demographics and two campaign visits by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau for tipping things the liberal way in an area of the lower mainland that has not elected liberals in decades. The South Surrey White Rock area has tended to send conservative-minded politicians to Ottawa, most recently former Conservative MP Diane Watts. Story continues below advertisement. Among the four federal by-elections across Canada held Monday, the South Surrey White Rock race was a notable wild card because it was close in 2015 when M.S. Watts won by about 1,500 votes over the Liberal candidate. That narrow 2015 win meant an all-out fight this year when M.S. Watts precipitated a by-election by quitting the seat to seek the leadership of the B.C. Liberals. Mr. Hogg was a cabinet minister in governments of the B.C. Liberals, who have no connections with their federal namesake. Mr. Trudeau and federal conservative leader Andrew Skier each visited the riding twice for campaign events. With the NDP coming in a distant third in 2015, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh did not visit to make the case for the NDP candidate. While Mr. Hogg was wary about grand forecasts, the Liberals and Conservatives seized on the outcome of the by-election with its turnout of about 38%, to speculate on its significance. Braden Cayley, senior federal liberal communications director, said in a statement that B.C. is now represented by 18 liberal MPs out of 42 seats as a result of the work of party volunteers, and that hard work to keep earning the support of British Columbians and all Canadians will continue in earnest on the road to the next election in 2019. Corey Han communications director for the Tories, said in his own statement that the party knew it was facing a tough fight in South Surrey White Rock given the 2015 results. The Conservative Party was the only party to make gains nationwide, and like any good hockey team, Conservatives know that going down a goal in the first period just means we have to work even harder going forward. Story continues below advertisement. Story continues below advertisement. On Tuesday, M.S. Findlay declined an interview. Mr. Hogg, 71, said his local profile likely helped clinch the seat. In addition to his work in provincial politics, he is also known for being a councillor in White Rock as well as serving as mayor of the seaside community. One of the things for this writing that was quite meaningful for me was a number of people who were supporting me as opposed to political parties, he said. Political scientist Hamish Telford said Mr.